Good evening, I'm Alice Bandukravi. The government has agreed to pay £350 million to bail out the delayed Crossrail project. The new high-speed rail line was due to open in December, but it's been pushed back until next autumn. What's still unclear is who exactly will end up paying the price for the overrun. Our political correspondent Carl Mercer has the story. An investigation has been launched after a man fell from a third floor flat in Camden during a burglary yesterday. Police were called to Denier House near Tufnell Park just after 9pm following reports of people trying to gain entry into a flat. This weekend when the clocks go back, most of us will enjoy an extra hour in bed. But that's not the case for the thousands who work through the night. Around one in ten workers now regularly do night shifts, according to one trade union. And whilst it's crucial for our economy, what's the personal cost? Caroline Davis has been finding out. The stuntman known as the French Spider-Man has been banned from climbing any buildings in the UK after scaling one of London's tallest office blocks. Well, time for me to wish you good night. I will leave you now with Nick Miller, who has the weather.